I think that the SOAR program really gave a lot of small farms, both around the country and here on the West Coast, an opportunity to keep moving forward with these restorative aquaculture projects that probably would have completely died out because of the impacts of the pandemic. The Riggins family has lived here for 225 years. We've eaten oysters since we moved here. The oysters used to be much more plentiful. About 40 years ago, there was a, a, a disease went through the entire Chesapeake Bay. So we have been, since then, building back the, the oyster population. And one of the reasons that I'm doing this and that my our daughter and son-in-law are doing this, is that the oysters are absolutely essential to bay health. When the bottom of the bay was covered with oysters, the bay was translucent, clear, and hasn't been since. Well, oysters, like every other fishery and most other fisheries, really just got fished out. It's, there was such a high demand and they were, they were everywhere. There were oyster beds throughout the nation. And Oyster Reef is an amazing entity. In one, it's, a, it's an erosion barrier. It's a habitat location for aquatic life. It's a first line of defense on filtration of all the nitrates and phosphorus that's coming off of land from fertilizer. The whole aquaculture industry, and particularly the oyster, is one of the few food sources that is a net positive to the environment. One of our great hopes is that we can move from having not very many oysters to having a lot more oysters. So the real special quality of this project that we're working on with SOAR is that by farming these oysters here in Tamales Bay, which helps us, Hog Island, bring them back into the market, we're also creating a whole new generation of young oysters that hopefully will recolonize these kinds of rocky intertidal zones and bring the native oyster back in the wild as well. I know an oyster farm doesn't look exactly like a wild reef, but from the point of view of shrimp, crabs, uh, fish, um, they see structure in the water and they come around those and I'm sure if you pull out any of these bags, you'll see a, a number of different fish and shrimp scattered uh, from that. So I think uh, we know that there are a lot of valuable contributions from shellfish farming that are mimicking uh, what we expect from the wild. Building a sustainable oyster reef. I think of it as the triple E's. It's good for the environment, it's good for education, and it's good for the economics of our working waterfront.